Hello there, Bob from Gill Skills here. Today, we're going to be actually scrapping something a little different. We're gonna be scrapping a scale. I think it's an electronic scale, but it's a scale nonetheless. So let's check this out. All right, so first and foremost, I wanna disconnect the cord. Unfortunately, this thing doesn't work anymore. The scale doesn't work anymore, and the LCD has been lost. So it doesn't really do much good if you don't have the LCD to go with the scale, so you can figure out how much everything weighs. Now, this power cord is still technically good. So, I mean, you could save it, but if you don't wanna save it, you could just clip the cord. You could strip the wire later, or just put it in number two insulated copper if you really wanted to. Or go ahead and set that aside. There's a transformer in here, or copper bearing motor, and the brass right here for the plug. Booyah. So I'll go ahead and set that aside. It looks like there's a multitude of screws. So I'm gonna go ahead and take those out right now. So this just comes right out. Interesting. Right. Tiny pieces of plastic. So I'm just going to separate this just for a second. I'll give you an overview of what it looks like. We've got some small wires here. Uh, we've got wires connecting to those metal pieces that would connect to the battery. We've got a small power board here that'll go ahead and I'll take the screws out for that. And then we've got a tiny board here that I'll go ahead and take out as well. On the other side, oh, uh, this I think this is a speaker or something, which is kind of weird. I didn't think there'd be a speaker there. So here's where things get a little interesting. We've got wire here. It looks like we've got copper uh, adhesive, believe it or not. This looks like a copper adhesive. The stands, which is also what accounts for the weight, looks like has an aluminum. It looks like they're aluminum. So we'll get some aluminum out of this, but it's mostly glass and plastic. I'm kind of surprised, to be honest. It's either plastic or glass, one of the two. I'm going to take the boards off real quick and try to separate the wire from the boards, and then we'll go ahead and start separating all the aluminum from the glass and the plastic. <laughs> Do you like what you see on the Gill Skills channel? Feel free to subscribe. Please subscribe. Show some love. There's a plastic piece. It looks like this was the on off button. Let me go ahead and take the metal springs out of there. Metal springs. Boy, that's a tiny board with a crystal oscillator there. I don't know if you can, how well you can see that, but that's what that is. I'm gonna ha go ahead and take the power board off now, which is right there. All right, that should come out now. That's where the power cable plugs in. So this is the, the power board. And it's got a nice little crystal oscillator on there. It's got a few other nice little doodads on it. So we'll hold on to that. Let's see what we got here. I'm not 100 percent sure what that is. It looks like it looks like the bottom piece is brass. Bottom piece looks like it's brass. The top piece looks like it's um, ferrous. All right, metal. This here, I believe, is brass. So let's go ahead and uh, test that hypothesis and see if it'll stick to a magnet. Does not. So it looks like we've got some brass on our hands. I'll go ahead and peel that adhesive off at a later time. So it looks like everything is pretty much excised out of here. And there's, there's some metal in there. If you guys want to go crazy and try to take the, you know, those out, should have probably tried to do it with, uh, there we go. All right. So this is pretty much it. Uh, the only thing left on this is the metal coils um, for the battery. And I'm going to see if I can take those off.
So this is just a plastic husk. All right, so we get this piece now, which I can easily take out. Uh, and this here is just basically a plastic housing. I don't see any metal in here at all. And uh, yeah, wow, this is this is legit glass, guys. This is this is glass. This is not plastic. This is wow. And that is thick glass too. See how thick it is. I don't know if you guys can see that, but that's super cool. So we've got we've got some aluminum here that we're going to end up taking off. We've got some copper insulation that we're going to end up taking off. We might want to grab a, a razor. And sometimes this stuff comes off easy. Sometimes it don't. It's up to you on how particular you want to be with it. But uh, I'm going to put the copper over by the plugs. I've got as much of the copper foil off as I'm willing to mess with, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start working on these aluminum pieces. I'm going to take these pieces and snap them off if I can. Might be able to use needle nose pliers and get these off. Let's go ahead and continue this. Sorry about the uh, long fast forward here, but I was able to get these off um, and I can quite easily get the plastic off of these by just simply taking these screws out, which you know what? I might as well do that right now. All right, so we're pretty much left with the aluminum now. So I'm gonna see what I can do about taking the screws out and then I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try to see if I can get the aluminum off the glass, off the tempered glass without breaking it. So this looks like a piece of milled aluminum. All right, so this is this is going to be the tough part, trying to separate the aluminum from the tempered glass. What might be the best course of action here is to use a heat gun and to try to get these four pieces off with a heat gun. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this heat gun here to try to liquefy the adhesive on the actual tempered glass. Hopefully it won't shatter because of the heat. I'm also concerned about that. With any luck, it won't. And we'll be able to get these off without any instances. And I'm gonna use these to try to grab them. Let's see what we can do here. I don't know if you guys can see this or not, but I'm gonna just heat it up a little bit. There's four. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we'll go ahead and start with the wire. And as you can see here, we've got the power cord and some really thin stranded wire here. 
We've got some brass and whatnot in the plug, along with a copper bearing motor in there. We've got a power board, and we've got a little tiny board there with a crystal oscillator on it. We've got some uh, copper foil. We've got some brass there. We've got some brass here and here, as you can see. These are all the screws and, and the metal pieces that came out of the scale. And we've got some mixed metal here. I will take apart at some point. We've got aluminum mixed in with steel. And we've got some brass bracket, uh, rivets. We've got a decent amount of aluminum here. Uh, we've got what looks like milled aluminum and we've got cast aluminum here. And then of course the plastic that came with the casing and all that fun stuff. So with that being said guys, this is the teardown for the scale that I had here originally for scrap wing and things of that nature. If you like what you see here, please feel free to like, comment, share, and subscribe. I also have a secondary channel called Gill Skills Live. Please head on over there and check that out as well. And until the next time, have a scrap happy day.